guys, we're back again. Thursday, our idiom of the day is see eye to eye. Mr. and Mrs. Wordley almost always see eye to eye about family decisions. They usually agree about what rules to set with the children, how to get the kids involved in household chores, and what privileges and consequences make sense. If you, e if you see eye to eye with someone, you agree with them. All right, all these idioms that we have been talking about since we've been out of school really seem to fit into everyday life that we're dealing with. Our new normal, right? Well, yesterday I told you that I was going to read Russell and the Lost Treasure. And I've been reminding you to check the back blurb, but there isn't one. And look, it looks like the book's upside down, but it's not. The people are just upside down, or the characters. Get my trusty glasses out here, guys. Because I'm old and I can't see. Russell and the Lost Treasure by Rob Scotton. <clears throat> Russell, the sheep, was perfecting his triple somersault when he was distracted by a passing cow, uh, crow. I almost said cow. Mm. The lost treasure of Frog's Bottom. <clears throat> wow, a treasure map, exclaimed Russell. Russell fell to the ground with a thud and a really good idea. I will find the lost treasure of Frog's Bottom. So Russell went to his workshop and after much banging and clattering, he was ready to show off his new invention. Super duper treasure seeker, look out treasure, here I come. He searched high, he searched low, he looked in and out, over, under, left and right, nothing. There's that big word again. Big print, exclamation mark, show excitement. What's a sheep to do? Russell threw away the treasure seeker. It rolled down the hill and settled at the foot of a giant tree where it began to beat. Hmm. Russell's hat curled with excitement. He squeezed into a hole at the base of the tree where he crawled and crawled and crawled until at last, could it be? It was. The lost treasure of Frog's Bottom. Russell dragged the chest from under the tree, turned the key, The chest was crammed full, brimming with a bunch of useless stuff. And a really old camera. This camera's older than my dad, and I bet it doesn't work. And then again, I bet it does. The flash made him their eyes all crazy. This is, there is no treasure, said Russell with a sigh, but maybe we can have some fun anyway. So he carefully rummaged through the chest. And rummaged means he dug through it. Pulled out a painted sheet and tied it between two trees. Mom and Dad, he called. Say fleece. Flash, Granny, put your teeth in. You too, Granddad. Flash. It's like he's setting up a photo booth for his family. Auntie and Uncle wanted a glamorous shot. Look, said Auntie, I'm a movie star. Flash. Russell's brother, Cedric, and the cousins wanted an action picture. Steady, boys. Flash. 
Molly, Polly, and Dolly, the triplets, had their photo taken with their dollies, all of them. Flash! Russell took Frankie's photo. Frankie took Russell's photo. Cool, said Russell proudly. They didn't do a very good job with those pictures, did they? Russell stuck the photographs into a very big book and sat down to admire his handiwork. Hmm, he thought. Maybe I have found treasure after all. The best treasure ever. And you know what that treasure was? It was family. And right now, that's all we have is family. And we're gonna get through this together. But remember, as much as everybody's driving each other crazy, you are treasure. I miss my treasure. I love you guys, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.